Hello, hello, what up? It's on your movie madman and I'm back. Today is a random review day and today we're going to be talking about three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri in 4K. Here you go then, three billboards. This film won a bunch of Oscars. I say a bunch of Oscars, this film won two Oscars. Uh, Frances McDormand won Best Actress and Sam Rockwell won Best Supporting Actor. So well done to the both of them. It's a very well acted movie. There's a lot of strong acting in this film, hence why it went to the Oscars. Uh, if you don't like if you don't like serious films, serious dramas, you're not going to get on with this because this is a very serious drama. Apparently it's a comedy, but... Um, if it is, it's not very funny. There's a couple of moments that will make you laugh, but there's probably more moments that will make you cry than make you laugh. So I wouldn't have really said it was a comedy. So I'm not really sure why it's meant to be, but we won't go there. Okay, uh, it's got a back cover. So there you go, you've got a beautiful, beautiful back cover there. We'll take the slip off. Obviously I've opened it. Uh, we'll have a look though. Have a look at those discs. Oh, look at that. Two two nice clear discs there. You've got a 4K disc here and a Blu-ray here. They look quite nice. Lacking in the artwork a little bit, but they're not that bad. It's all right. Right, so what can I say about this film? I really liked it. This was my favourite film the year it came out, which I'm pretty sure was 2017, 2018, something like that. One of them. One of them, it's got two dates on the back of the disc, so I'm not really sure which one it is. I probably could have looked it up, but I didn't, so go for it. Uh, again, this is one of those films that you can watch on Disney Plus as well, so it is available in 4K on Disney Plus, so you have got that beautiful little stream there. If you like a little bit of beautiful 4K streaming, it looks really good on Disney Plus. Not to take away from the disc, it looks really good. On the 4k disc as well that blu-ray still looks pretty good so it all looks pretty good it's a pretty newly shot film as well i'm pretty sure it was shot digitally it wasn't shot on film so it looks pretty new clean and fresh anyway so that's always that's always a nice little a nice little bright side to it there's loads of bits of red in there as well so obviously that's why i enjoyed it um not the only reason but we won't go there. I say we won't go there a lot. Like I can't be bothered to talk about half the stuff that this review is meant to be about. But don't worry about it. We won't go there. Yeah, so I didn't want to dig into the story too much. Frances McDormand's character's daughter has been raped and murdered. Pretty sure she's set on fire. You don't see any of that. It's fine. That's all off screen. Like three months before the film even started. Six months, three months. A few months months before the film started uh we won't go there but yeah so she's a bit upset that the police haven't really done their job when it comes to finding out who did this to her daughter so she decides to take matters into her own hands and she rents out three billboards outside ebbing missouri who'd have thought it eh? uh and on these three billboards she writes some things to try and motivate the police I think is a good way to put that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what's on the billboards. It's kind of a big thing in the film. So we'll leave that to you to watch it. It's a wonderful film. It's got some very dark moments in it. It's got some very sad moments in it. But it's very well acted. It's very well written. It's very well shot. It looks beautiful. I don't know how else to compliment this movie. Beauty for you. A bit like Beauty and the Beast. Just without Beauty or the Beast. So it's just and the. Obviously it's 15, written and directed by Martin McDonnell. What do you expect? It's going to be 15. I don't know if he's ever been able to make a film that doesn't have swearing in it. Uh, this guy made in Bruges. This guy recently released The Banshees of Inner Shearing, which was nominated for a bunch of Oscars this year at the Oscars. So he's doing really well when it comes to his, to his uh, getting nominated for stuff like that. Um, I mean, I don't think the Banshees won a lot of Oscars. In fact, it probably might not have won any. Sorry. 
He was nominated though, so just to be nominated, I think, is a is an honour in itself. If you get nominated for an Oscar, it's always mentioned. So even if even if you don't win, you've still got that you've still got that honour of being nominated for an Oscar. I think I think that's sometimes that can be more powerful than winning an Oscar itself. The amount of people that have been nominated more than once and not won. And then you get people like Leonardo DiCaprio that win an Oscar for a performance that he didn't really need an Oscar for. But it was probably more an honourable thing for all the films that he should have won Oscars for and didn't. Anyway, he's not in this, so we don't need to talk about him at the moment, do we? No. Well, I'm just going to... I've done... Yeah. So that's it for today. Sorry. Um, I want to I make some of these videos a bit more longer and a bit more detailed, but at the moment I'm not really sure what those details are going to be because I just tend to waffle on and say loads of stuff that I regret so I just tend to try and keep it a bit shorter because otherwise you guys are just going to get bored of me sitting here trying to be funny for five ten minutes so that's it for today if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'm gonna fuck off all right goodbye